This here is called Meghan Markle hit with another setback to her popularity and reputation from May 7, 2024, Geo News. Let's see what we got. Meghan Markle's popularity has just become a topic of great discussion as it takes another dive downward, which I noticed. Over the past month or something, it seems there's a lot of articles talking about what businesses she did failed, how people perceive her. It's nothing really new, but it's popping up a lot. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams issued these statements while speaking about Meghan Markle's popularity. He weighed in on everything during one of his most recent interviews with The Sun. He referenced the Duchess' current popularity status and branded it absolutely terrible, which I would think it should be. I mean, I'm sure she's got a certain type of fan who defends her and things like that, but just like the average normie should be looking at her like, oh, what is she doing? She's the only member of the royal family that has actually gone down, after all, the expert noted. As of right now, the biggest problem is that when the Sussexes ceased to be senior working royals, they started attacking the royal family and monetized their royal connections. Gotta give you a big no shit on that. That shouldn't sit well with most people. I guess at the best case scenario, if you never liked the royals and you really just want dirt on them in any way possible, I guess you'd be cool with it, but that should be a very small minority. Basically, even if they did bad things, like everyone else, they've still got a right to their privacy to a certain extent. And they quote this here, Oh, seems to me to be so destructive, they should have had more publicity, conscious decisions a great deal earlier. Yeah, it seems like either it's deliberate, because they know they're getting bad press, maybe they want to play the victim, or they're just making terrible decisions. I tend to think it's somewhat deliberate. Obviously, there was support during the period of the Oprah interview, and Megan is an American. But I think that people's eyes have been open to the fact that they exploit the connection they have with the crown, and yet they attack the monarchy, Mr. Fitzwilliams added. Before concluding, he said, if they weren't royals, I don't think there would be any specific interest in them. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, if Harry wasn't a royal and he was just some dude, Harry from the UK, and this low level actress, Meghan Markle, married him, it would be nothing. Not even a single headline, I don't think. So, yeah. And on the same day, they move on with this Prince Harry, Meghan Markle's parenting under fire over Archie's American accent. So, I figured I'd include two articles here because the articles are so short. But I gotta be honest, like 80% of them are negative, so they're all pretty much connected. They say that Meghan and Harry have come under fire for their parenting and approach with their kids. They say Meghan and Harry were dragged for not allowing the kids to have a connection with the royal family, not seeing them hardly ever. And yeah, it's understandable. On one hand, no one's business. On the other hand, the royal family is kind of a set of public figures their culture for the country. So, you know, I'm kind of cool with people voicing their opinion if it's not too insultive. They said since they went into self-imposed exile that people have seen very little of Archie. They say that he's got an American accent, putting it as he talks American. Not sure if that's the right way to put it, but okay, he talks American. And he tells people to drive safe when they leave the house, which I guess is an American thing. I never thought about it. I have said that. People in America say it, but I figured it was just kind of a common thing to say. But all right. We don't say it in Japan. So yeah, okay. I don't know. Never thought about it. They also say it's a real shame that the king hasn't seen Archie very much. And also, he's grown up without his cousins. But all right. That's their opinion. I wouldn't dive too deep into their kids, but yeah, once in a while, it's worth a mention. Anyway, that's the news. There's articles on these two all the time, so I'll be covering it while the media is. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.